Great to go! Cool! Alright, we're about to see Knuckles uh, do the Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god, here we go. Oh, and he's got the chili dog, so oh my god. This man beating up burglars. There it is. Chaos and roll, oh boy. Is that supposed to be that ball thing from the comics? <laughs> Is there just going to be like one frame of Knuckles at the end or something? Maybe. Him in a snow view. Bro, they gotta show Knuckles. You're never going to get my power. Oh, they're showing him right there. Oh. Uh. There he is. Like I need your power. That oh. Does not... oh. What is that voice? <laughs> What is that voice? Come on now. He doesn't look oh, bad, God. but what is that voice, bro? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> he sounds too evil. Right, what is that voice? They not... made him go more on like the villainous... Uh, they made him seem a little villainous there. <clears throat> he sounds like a, a Skeletor or something. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, oh, I'm gonna mute. 2022, so exciting, the delicious last course. Uh-oh. Next up, earlier you saw the trailer for Sonic 2, the movie, and now it's time for the little blue guy to give you a glimpse at his next game, also coming in oh. 2022. They double dip in with Sonic? All right, let's see. Whoo, boy. What is happening here, Sonic? It's that boy, Zavok. It better not be. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, they did it. <laughs> Dang, so the old no. rumors are true? Oh, dude, Look at these motherfuckers coughing characters. breath of the... <laughs> Man, these rumors, <laughs> look at these muffs. Dude, why is everyone just like, okay, we'll all just do a Breath of the Wild reboot. Right. We'll just all do it. <laughs> oh, the oh even God. the Towers rumor was true. The Dude, this, is, this Towers is terrible. <laughs> this, is, this game is going to be competing against Zelda next year. <laughs> they wish. <laughs> no, it, but Zelda's going to come out next year, probably. And yeah, it'll slaughter it. <laughs> Man, this is what we needed in the Sonic Central instead of that vague BS. Hey everyone, it's Nux, and hey, how's it going? It's been a while since my last video um, because things have been busy for me. 
Uh, but, but before we dive into our talk about this recent Sonic News shenanigans, I want to say apologies if you hear some stuff in the background because I'm recording this early in the morning and there's some cars going by and a storm is happening right now. It's not the best time to record, but I wanted to uh, record something with these reactions before I um, like finalize the video because I wanted to really iron out my thoughts and make sure I get all the details and stuff. Uh, more could be coming out soon, so this still could be outdated a bit, but I think I'm pretty much set uh, to talk about last night's reveal. So last night was the um, 2021 Game Awards, and if you want my thoughts on the overall show, it was a drag. Three hours of pain and agony, bro. Like, the generic CGI reveal trailers, the lack of any Nintendo news, which I'm surprised Nintendo was not there. Like, usually they have a somewhat decent presence at the Game Awards. Like, there have been years where they haven't had too many things, but, like, they literally had nothing. They had one award, and then they just kind of, like, disappeared for the rest of the show. So that was shocking to me. A lot of people on Twitter were pretty upset about it, especially Zelda fans, especially Zelda fans, because they were pretty much expecting uh, Breath of the Wild 2 news. And I don't blame them, because I think the Game Awards could have been a perfect time to show a new trailer for Breath of the Wild 2, so I don't know what the heck is going on with Nintendo right now, but I wouldn't be all doom and gloom about it. Uh, their 2022 is still stacked. They still have a lot of really great games that we have to look forward to, like Splatoon 3, Breath of the Wild 2, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Like, there's still bangers on the way, but it's just bizarre that they came to the Game Awards with absolutely nothing. Uh, but I guess we'll just wait till the next Nintendo Direct, which I would hope would be January, but it could be February, so... Yeah, uh, good luck to uh, my fellow Nintendo fans waiting for that. But that's not what you're all here for. You are all here to hear my thoughts on the Sonic news at the Game Awards. Because believe it or not, Sonic kind of showed up. Like, I was, wasn't was thinking Sonic wasn't going to show much at this show. I was thinking, oh, watch him show like a two-second teaser for the game and then do absolutely uh, bare minimum for the movie. But no, we got a pretty substantial movie trailer uh, for the Sonic movie sequel, and we got actual game news. Wow, actual news on the main part of Sonic's brand? Who could have thought? You know, it's almost like they should have done this from the beginning, had this trailer in the Sonic Central instead of that bare minimum teaser that told us nothing. You know, like, I really think the news that they gave us here is what should have been in Sonic Central. I can understand the movie news because they were still, you know, finalizing stuff with the movie, but like, there's no excuse why this game news should have been as bare minimum as it was. And heck, it, the new trailer that we got still didn't really tell us all too much. We did get the final name of the game, which is Sonic Frontier, so all that Sonic Ranger stuff is donezo. Uh, but I do believe in a lot of the leaks still from the Sonic Rangers title because they were the fit ones that told us that this would be an open world game. And lo and behold, it's an open world Sonic game. And you can tell like they really want to go for that uh, Breath of the Wild vibe because you can see Sonic standing on this cliff and looking out over the horizon on this big, wide environment. And there's even like freaking towers that uh, Sonic can visit, which are literally like the freaking Sheikah Towers and the Ubisoft Towers. Like it's, it is so generic open world, but <laughs> it is interesting to see that Sonic is going to tackle this um, this genre. It, it's really interesting to see Sonic tackle this. Um, now I'm not too excited because first of all, while we did get an in-engine look of the game, the game, I don't know, something about it still felt very rough to me. Like, Sonic kind of gave off that generic Unreal Engine vibe. Oh, Nintendo, hire this man! And it didn't look like too stylized at all. Like, while I like the fact that for once we're in an actual, you know, grounded environment, we're not in Green Hill Zone or Chemical Plant or reused asset places, it actually looks like a very grounded and original location. And they confirmed that the name of the location is Starfall Islands or something, which I think is really cool. But there was nothing really like 
stand out about the location. It's like we saw some flower fields and some waterfalls and stuff like that, but nothing that really stood these places out. It kind of reminded me of um, Rise of Lyric, where Rise of Lyric had certain places that looked okay and were kind of new to Sonic, but were still pretty generic and unnoteworthy. And that's a big reason why Rise of Lyric is easily one of the most forgettable games because no, nothing about that game is memorable at all. So that kind of worries me, but I'm gonna stay a little open-minded. Again, we didn't see much gameplay. Like we saw a lot more than the teaser gave us, but we did not get much on the gameplay and what exactly we're going to be doing. Are we gonna be fighting bosses in these opener hub worlds? Are we gonna be doing fetch quest missions? Are we gonna be looking for rings? Like what on earth are we doing in this game? We have no clue. And even story-wise, we do not really get much. We know Sonic is um, in this strange place being chased by strange machines and he, there's this big kaiju thing that um, pops up. But other than that, you know, we don't get much on what is going on with this game, which makes me turn back to the leaks because the leaks definitely gave us more details. You know, stuff with like the ghost girl and the aliens, quote unquote, which I'm thinking is what's attacking Sonic. So yeah, it's a little annoying that even with this trailer giving us a little more, we're still completely in the dark, which is why I tell Sonic fans that you shouldn't, you know, be jumping out of your seats because there's still a lot of uncertainties with this. Backing up to story, um, they actually confirmed outside of the trailer that this story would be written by Ian Flynn, who is the um, guy who wrote a lot of Archie in the later years and currently writes for IDW Sonic. And my thoughts on that are mixed. You know, some Twitter was praising this being like, what, it's Ian Flynn, bro. Like this is a huge improvement from Pontaf, which yes, this is definitely an improvement from Pontaf, but Ian Flynn, again, is not some perfect writer. Like, he has issues with his writing and certain things that he's done that I heavily disagree with. So this is not going to fix story with Sonic, but at least it won't be as cringe as Pontef, maybe? I don't know, bro. It's gonna be really hard to tell what's going on with this game with how much little they've given us so yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say on sonic frontiers for now as we get more info i'll probably talk about it more i'm not i, I really my thoughts really have not changed you know especially since the last video where i like ripped in the sega and sonic some people are like why are you talking about sonic again nux i thought you were done i'm not necessarily done i'm very much still open-minded it's just man 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 sonic what sonic 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 what a roller coaster of a brand. But now, let's talk about that movie trailer, which surprisingly was kind of more hype than Frontiers, which is sad, but it's true because the movie acts the movie sequel actually looks pretty dang good. Like we got our first look at um, you know, Jim Carrey with his new outfit looking a bit more like the Eggman from the games. He's not chubby, but I don't mind that. I think he actually looks pretty good in this redesign. Um, we got our first look at, you know, some of the plot shenanigans, Tails shows up. He even has the tornado, which we learned from the uh, poster at first, but we see it in full action in the trailer, which I think that's cool. Sonic is snowboarding at a point, which gives me vibes to Ice Cape and the snowboarding level in Sonic Adventure. Uh, we see Sonic, you know, do crime fighting, which I think is weird. Like Sonic is not, I don't really associate Sonic with bothering with petty crimes, but I, I think that is something he would do, you know, considering how he was patrolling in um, Sonic Adventure. But yeah, mm, other like there's some things about the trailer, like we still have, you know, Tom and Maddie, which I think they're still gonna drag the story a little bit. I feel like they are but we see a lot more game fan surface. Like we even get a look at an emerald. I think it's either the, a chaos emerald or the master emerald. It really looks like the master emerald, especially when we see it on a shrine at some point. Like I think it is the master emerald. And you know what that leads into? Oh boy, we got our first look at live action 
knuckles and what are my thoughts on live action knuckles honestly he looks pretty dang good like in terms of the design i was originally very scared for the design because the prop model that leaked that showed what knuckles might look like had him looking a bit buff which worried me because that made me think he was going to look like boom knuckles which god thank god he does not look like some giant buff generic jock doofus thank god like oh uh, but he does look a bit bulkier than usual like he looks similar to his game counterpart but they clearly like bulked up his chest and his arms which i think if they're they were going to bolt knuckles up i think they did it in the best way possible you know like i much prefer his game counterpart like i think a lot of the core uh game designs especially the ones drawn by yuji uh your, your Kara, I, I, I can't pronounce his name to save my life, but yeah, the adventure designs are some of the best iterations of these characters, and I much prefer when Knuckles is a bit on the, uh, the slimmer side, but bulky Knucks portrayed this way is not that bad. We also heard a bit of his voice, which not too much to really like fully judge, but he sounds a lot more intimidating than I thought he would. Like, he, he sounds so like evil the way he talks to Sonic and just slams him down. But I guess considering, you know, he starts out bad, quote unquote, I guess it makes sense for him to be very intimidating. But in terms of it being this overall voice for Knuckles, eh, it's a bit too grumpy. Like if he sounds like this all the time, I don't know. I don't know about that, but I don't think it's terrible. It's still miles, miles better than his current voice. I'll say that much. Uh, same for, you know, same for even Sonic, bro. Like, honestly, Sonic and Knuckles, the, these voices fit so much better than what's going on with the games right now. But let me not get into the Roger Craig Smith talk again, because we all know how that's going to go in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, uh, speaking of voice actors, Tails is a voice actor from the games, is voicing him in the movie, which surprised me when they announced it, because I did not think they were going to actually bring in uh, his voice actor from the games but they did so that's cool although i some i saw some sonic fans being like see sonic you know brings in voice actors from the games but mario does it with the mario movie shut up bro like first of all it's the one voice actor you know it's just colina's tales everyone else is voiced by some other person or a celebrity so don't get on a high horse you know like the mario movie has one voice actor from the games with Charles Martinet. So you're on even ground. Don't don't start that bullshit, Sonic fans. <laughs> oh my god, but yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd say this was probably one of the best Sonic showings in a long time. Like, not counting the symphony, because that didn't have any actual, you know, relevant news. Um, this is probably the best Sonic showing in a, in a long time. And the fact that they had it going on during the game awards is surprising i honestly thought they were going to go the uh, cheap route and just kind of like throw all this stuff on the side but the fact that we had full news on frontiers and the movie is a good step in the right direction now how long they stay on that track is um remains to be seen but yeah i'd say this was a decent showing for sonic you know he showed more news than nintendo did which is surprising but yeah we just gotta wait and see what happens Thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow my other social media, which will be linked in the description and attached to my main channel. All that stuff. Um, until then, I will be working on my next few video projects, which there's definitely a lot of new types of videos I want to get into, but it's still gonna take a minute for me to push all that out. So please be patient with me. All right, this has been Nux, and I'm out. Peace. Among Us? <laughs> oh, no. Ace, Ace, what have you done? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, it okay. is! It is! Ace, hey. I hate you! <laughs> this man, he summoned it. He summoned no. it. <laughs>
Oh, VR? Oh, 